Hello and welcome to this tutorial on TweenGMS for GameMaker Studio 2. In this lesson we will be reviewing the basics of easing algorithms. But before we go any further, I first want to mention a great website for helping understand the different easing algorithms available. Visit easings.net to visually see how easing algorithms compare to one another. I will place a link to the website in the description below. For reference, all easing algorithms supported by TweenGMS can be found in the resources hierarchy under scripts, TweenGMS, ease algorithms. There are a total of 31 different scripts altogether, but don't be intimidated by the number of scripts included. After this tutorial and some experimentation, you should have a grasp on them soon enough. All right, for this lesson, I have placed a single test object in our test room. To show how different easing algorithms work, we will have this object tween from its current location to the mouse's XY location when we press the left mouse button. So let's go to our test object and set this up. Under events, we are going to add the event mouse global left pressed. Here we are going to use the easy tween, tween easy move, to tween our object from its current location to the mouse cursor position. If you're not familiar with easy tweens, you can find a link to a tutorial covering them in the video description below. So let's set up our tween. Tween easy move. We're going to use the x, y location as our starting positions. And we will use mouse x and mouse y as our destination x, y values. We will use a delay of zero, an animation duration of 60 steps. And to begin, we are going to use the uh, easing script ease linear. Now, ease linear differs from all the other algorithms we will use as it doesn't actually ease the animation. Instead, as it says, things will play out at a constant linear speed. Let's go ahead and check it out. As you can see, there is nothing fancy about this algorithm. It simply moves our object from start to finish at a constant speed. This has its uses at times, but we will now try some other algorithms to show what easing is really about. Now, except for the ease linear script, which I just showed you, there are three different variations of each type of easing script, which I will show you below. These variations are those which ease in, ease out, or ease in and out. To illustrate these differences, we are going to use a cubic easing algorithm. Let's go ahead and replace ease linear with ease in cubic. As you will see, this will cause our test object to smoothly accelerate from its starting position and suddenly stop at its destination. Each easing script with this easing property will follow the, this general rule of easing into the tween. So as you see, it, as we click with the mouse, it slowly begins to accelerate into the ease and suddenly stops at its destination. And again, every script with the ease in property will follow, follow this general rule. Now let's go ahead and change our easing algorithm to ease out cubic. Here we will notice the opposite effect from the ease in script, where our tween will suddenly start into a tween but smoothly slow down before reaching its destination. Can you spot the difference? The tween now starts suddenly into the tween but slows, um, slowly decelerates before finishing. This is the opposite of ease in. All right, let's now try the third variation of our easing script, easing in and out. So we will cha change ease out cubic to ease in out cubic. Basically, this variation of ease algorithm is going to combine the other two variations together so that our object will now smoothly accelerate into the tween and smoothly slow down before finishing. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. 
notice how our tween is now slowly accelerating into the tween and slowly decelerating when it finishes. And there we go. That covers the basics of our easing algorithms. I could go through and cover the other easing algorithms included, but I will instead encourage you to run through them and see how they compare to each other. Again, the website easings.net is a great way to visually reference these algorithms. So give it a look for a quick review. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for hanging around. I look forward to you joining in future videos. Bye for now.